So the metaverse, we hear so much about these, you know, interconnected virtual worlds. Mm -hmm. But have you ever really stopped to think about the sheer, like the engineering needed to make them truly massive mm. and and seamless for oh, you? Oh, absolutely. It's uh, it's way more than just throwing a bunch of servers together. Right. Think about um, the challenge. Millions of people interacting, you know, in real time across different virtual spaces yeah. and wanting consistent performance, things not breaking down. That takes some, well, serious tech innovation. Okay, let's uh, let's unpack this then. Yeah. Because today's deep dive, it really takes us into what could be a cornerstone of that future. It sounds interesting. Yeah, we've been digging through a really fascinating mix of sources. There's a report from Metaverse Post. Okay. Some uh, really lively discussions over on the Epic Developer Community forums. Ah, the forums, yeah. Always good stuff there. Definitely. And also some like intriguing hints about Unreal Engine's evolution yep. in a recent YouTube video. And, you know, they all seem to point towards the same thing. Epic Games. The Fortnite and Unreal Engine folks. Exactly. They're building a brand new programming language. It's called Verse. Verse. Okay, yeah. so that's our mission today then, to really get under the hood of what Verse actually is. Yeah, precisely. Why it's generating this buzz. Um, especially for the metaverse, obviously. And what it might mean for you, like what its capabilities could be. Exactly. Could it really reshape how these these digital spaces get built? Let's find out. So, Verse, what's the uh, the quick pitch? Well, the metaverse post article, it describes it as an open source Web3 programming language. Web3. Yeah, and focus specifically on uh, innovation and this seems key scalability scalability right and it's interesting they position it within that web3 family you know alongside rust solidity clarity it's not just another general language then doesn't seem like it it seems architected uh with that decentralized interconnected web3 metaverse stuff kind of baked in from the start and the open source part feels well significant doesn't it huge epics making the specs the docs the tools all freely available that sounds like a very deliberate strategy oh for sure Get widespread adoption, right? Yeah. Programmers, artists, designers. Get more creative minds involved faster. Remove those barriers. Exactly. Foster that collaborative environment for these, you know, evolving digital landscapes. Okay, back to scalability. The article hit on interoperability and fast transactions as key goals for Verse. And you can immediately see why that matters, can't you? Totally. Imagine trying to hop between different virtual worlds if it's constantly lagging or breaking. Kills the immersion instantly. Right, right. And think about current limitations, you know, player caps and games, different systems not talking to each other smoothly. Yeah. Verse seems designed to tackle those head on, a more robust, efficient foundation for truly massive interactions. Okay, now here's something really interesting from that YouTube video we watched. Yeah. It hinted that Verse might unify server and client code. Ah, okay. So right now, you often write separate code for the server-side stuff and what happens on, you know, your machine, the client. Exactly. Different instructions. Yeah. But Verse is aiming to let you use a single code base for both. Wow. Okay. That that could be a genuine game changer for development workflow. Right. Streamlining things. Massively. If creators can work with one set of code for the logic and what you see, it could seriously speed up building these huge, complex multiplayer worlds. And maybe make performance more consistent, too. You'd hope so. Less chance for things to get out of sync, perhaps. This sets us up perfectly, then, to talk about the uh, the bigger picture, the vision for Fortnite and the metaverse itself. Right. Epic CEO Tim Sweeney. The Metaverse post piece mentioned he's very bullish on the Metaverse future. And you can see why Epic's in such a prime spot, can't you? Definitely. They control Unreal Engine core tech for building 3D worlds. And they run Fortnite, which, let's face it, a lot of people already call a proto-Metaverse. It's certainly one of the leading examples, yeah. It already feels like more than just one game, you know. Yeah. And that YouTube video painted this uh, incredible picture of Epic's long-term ambition for it. What, like expanding it even further? Yeah, like turning it into this vast interconnected digital universe where the different islands and modes in Fortnite become like distinct physical zones. Okay. And you can just move between them yeah. fluidly in real time. With potentially millions of players. That's the ambition they talked about. Yeah. Millions. Concurrent. Wow. Okay. That sounds incredibly ambitious. It really does. And the crucial link here, I suppose, is that they see Verse as the enabler for that kind of scale. That's exactly it. The language is being built from the ground up specifically to handle that kind of massive scale and complex interaction. Makes sense. You need the right tools for a job that big. But let's step back slightly. 
the tech foundations. Mm -hmm. Unreal Engine 5 already brought in some huge stuff, didn't it? Lumen, Nanite. Oh, absolutely. UE5 was a massive leap. Lumen for that uh, dynamic global elimination, the lighting. Yeah, looks incredible. And Nanite for just insane geometric detail. Micropolygons. Feels like that was a necessary stepping stone for all this metaverse talk. For sure. You need that level of visual fidelity and the tools to build immersive, believable worlds. That's essential for an engaging metaverse experience. Okay, so Unreal Engine 6. It's not official yet, right? No announcement? No, not officially. But there's definitely a, a buzz yeah. speculation. And the YouTube video we saw leaned into that suggesting Verse would be deeply integrated into UE6. Which seems like a pretty logical assumption, doesn't it? Yeah. If Verse is the language for the metaverse they're building, you'd want it tightly woven into your core engine tech. The video even mentioned potential upgrades, like Lumen 2.0 and Nanite 2.0. Yeah, hinting at even more photorealism. Just imagine the visual richness of these future digital worlds. Mind-boggling. But it's not purely about games, is it? The video touches on Unreal Engine's use in, like, movies and TV production, too. That's a really key point. Virtual production is already huge for them. These advancements, maybe pushed along by Verse, could blur those lines even further between, you know, traditional filmmaking and real-time virtual sets. So we might see even wider use of game engines in creating films, TV, all sorts of media. I think that's very likely, yeah. Okay, timeline. This all sounds amazing, but when? The video suggested, what, 2028 to 2030 for UE6? Something like that, which, yeah, might seem a way off. But I guess building a new programming language and a major engine update? It's a massive undertaking, requires a ton of R&D testing. Yeah. You know how it is. So those dates are definitely estimates based on what we know now. Exactly. Subject to change, as always in tech. Okay, let's pivot to the developers, the people who actually use Verse. Right. The video suggested UE6 plus Verse could let them build higher quality, more realistic games, but also faster, more efficiently. And that's a huge selling point, isn't it? Absolutely. A more flexible, powerful programming setup, better multiplayer handling that could free developers up to focus more on the creative side. Less time getting bogged down in like complex technical hurdles. Precisely. And to get a feel for what's happening, like right now we looked at those epic developer community forums. Oh, it, yes, the coalface. It's fascinating seeing the questions and challenges developers are already hitting while exploring Verse especially within UAFN, the Unreal Editor for Fortnite. This is where the rubber meets the road, isn't it? Seeing the practical side. Yeah, these forum posts give you real insight into where the tech is now and the problems people are trying to solve. What kind of stuff were they asking about? Oh, all sorts. Some specific technical things like uh, issues assigning drivers to vehicle spawners in Fortnite Creative. Okay, niche stuff. Yeah. Yeah. But also more fundamental questions like how to trigger UI elements made with Verse or how events work in the language. People figuring out the basics. Sounds about right for a new language exploring the core building blocks. Then there were more specific help requests too, like um, how to add players to a game mid-session. Ah, uh, yeah, dynamic joining, important. Creating item inventory scripts, purely in verse, tracking player wins on custom maps. People are definitely experimenting. Pushing the boundaries of what UAM can do with verse right now. And what was really interesting was seeing people talk about, like, trying to build Minecraft-style experiences inside UAF and using Verse. Oh, wow. Okay, so sandbox building, creative stuff. Yeah. It really shows the potential versatility, you know? Yeah. User-generated content powered by this new language. That's pretty cool. One last detail that really jumped out at us from the background info. Yeah. The involvement of Simon Peyton Jones. Ah, uh, the Haskell guy. Longtime Microsoft researcher. That's him. Apparently, he's been involved in Versus development and uh, giving talks about it since 2021. Okay, that is significant. Adds a certain weight, doesn't it? Absolutely. Having someone with his deep expertise in programming language design involved, it, it, it suggests this is a really serious, well-thought-out project. Not just some quick side thing. They're aiming for something robust and genuinely innovative. Seems that way. All right, so let's try and uh, pull this all together. What have we learned from this deep dive? Well, versus this new open source language from Epic Games. Clearly aimed at the metaverse. Yep. Engineered for scale, interoperability. And that unified server client thing, which could be huge. And it's deeply tied into the future of Unreal Engine, presumably UE6, and also the future vision for Fortnite itself. And for you listening in, 
wanting to get up to speed on key tech trends? Verse is definitely one to watch. It really could become a foundational piece of the puzzle for the digital experiences you'll have in the coming years. And not just games, right? Extending into other online interactions. Very possibly, yeah. So here's maybe a final thought to leave you with. What totally new kinds of, I don't know, interactive social experiences might actually become possible. Right. In a metaverse built on a language like Verse, designed specifically for that purpose. How could that change the way we learn online? Or work? Or just connect with people? It opens up a lot of possibilities to think about. Definitely. Maybe now's a good time to, you know, explore Unreal Engine a bit if you haven't. Keep an eye on Fortnite's changes. And just stay curious about how this whole metaverse landscape keeps evolving. It's certainly moving fast.